So welcome back everybody to 539. We are at this nature preserve. I marked it for some reason. I think it might have another pioneer graveyard here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. I'm really kind of hoping that I don't run into a bunch of ticks. High grass is pretty much their uh, homeland. And so as you can see, we may be in for trouble. However, this place is massive. I mean, I've been driving through it now for almost a half an hour down these random little back roads, and I didn't actually think it was this place, and, and then I finally got here and realized just how massive it really truly was. So, um, we could be in here for quite a while. I don't know exactly, again, what it's gonna turn out. And epic uh, nature location so far for sure we might throw some of this up on the second channel even i've been filming some behind the scenes over there so we uh, will actually go ahead and cut here for a moment over to the second channel and i don't honestly know if they allow hunting here so i'm a little afraid of running into uh, people with guns that might hopefully uh not that might mistake me for a deer however i don't really know much about the hunting seasons or what season it would be mosquitoes are horrendous especially in places like this with the low-lying mucky nasty water they love this stagnant water so you always have to be super careful and bad news i have confirmed that they do allow hunting back here by permit and so i don't know if I've come back here during a hunting season or not but I have stumbled upon a few pieces of what looks like an abandoned farm up here uh, where the trail kind of splits off and goes into the woods here you can see some old decorative rocks and some old rotting wooden pallets So I don't know how long those have been lying here, but they're probably from something that used to be here a long, long time ago. I'm gonna keep walking around the perimeter. I'm not really finding anything. I did see some more fencing over in uh, this direction, and so I'm gonna kinda go over there for a little bit, and we'll kinda loop around behind it here and hope that we run into some things, seeing some plant life that is sometimes indicative of graveyards. So the idea that there could be a hidden uh, graveyard somewhere out here is not out of the realm of possibilities in the least. And in fact, it may very well be the reason that I marked the, lo the location. It's kind of a strange place, know that. This is what I'm talking about, this area here. Not that these flowers don't grow naturally here, but when there's weird kind of almost human placed stones that appear to be lying around and then lots and lots of these flowers, sometimes it can mean that there is a hidden graveyard somewhere nearby. And one of the reasons you can tell that this was most likely farmland at one point is a lot of these trees are really new growth and they're planted in precise rows. And so uh, when the land would have been donated as probably a corn field or a soybean field, which is pretty much the same thing, uh, they would have planted rows and rows of these trees, which then grew up over the years. And now it looks pretty much like a natural forest but if you were to look behind me at the actual forest, this is what it looks like compared to this, which is all new growth. So a lot of these trees are probably only 20, 30 years old at the max. So we're at the corner 
of something here. I don't know if it used to be, it looks like it used to be the edge of the property. The fence line is following along here. And so that might be some of the reason as well why we're seeing some of the flowers. They caught along the fence line and just naturally grew up there. So I've gone off trail, decided to just find my way to the location that I have marked. You can see behind me here, can't really even tell exactly where I am. And in all directions, it's pretty much just a maze. But it looks like I'm almost to the spot that I marked. There should be some sort of clearing around here somewhere. And I don't know, again, what that's going to mean for us. Or if, once again, I'm just chasing phantoms here and there's nothing actually back here. But, I don't know, there was just something about the way it felt looking back here that I had to check it out at the very least. I am finding now the uh, opening here. Crossed over all the way from the trail to this clearing. And this is what I had marked. Not exactly sure where I am. It is some sort of mound. This is crazy. You can kind of tell. There's a hill in the middle of the woods in this little clearing. So I don't know if this is Native American in origin or what it is. This is really incredible though. I don't see anything else around. No markings of any sort. But in this specific area would not be abnormal. And it doesn't seem like the hill really leads off into the woods either. It seems like it really starts at the clearing here. And so right now I'm just walking around the perimeter. I don't see any modern or European style graves. Nothing at all marking what it might be. Although there definitely is some signs of life out here. That's some fishing stuff there. There's lots and lots of frogs. But again, it really just seems like the tree line for the most part stops right here. Well, I really don't know. You know, there's really nothing that way any further and I would just really love to find something else that really indicates that it could potentially be Native American in origin, but it just screams like it's a really small mound and I don't know if it's like a burial mound or like a mound that's more for like Ritual, um, I don't really have any clue, but let me go know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll throw this up as sort of a mystery episode of some sort, but I don't have too much longer, and then I need to turn around and find my way back out. As you can see, there are no trails back here, so I have to go by GPS alone. The ground is so unstable in here. It's all swampy. But as long as I follow, or excuse me, kind of uh, head in the opposite direction as the setting sun here, then I should be all right. Uh, aside from it being a little bit annoying, having to constantly bend over. Um, so far I haven't well, I won't say I haven't run into anybody. I've heard voices. Oh, there's a rabbit. But I've definitely heard some talking, some actual human talking. I stopped for a moment and waited. And 
made sure that it wasn't just bird noises or other nature noises that could have potentially sounded like people. So I'm definitely not the only one in the area. But again, this place is so huge that they could be anywhere and almost any distance away. Oh, we're running into a thorn patch now. But luckily, I can now see the trail and we are in the clear. That was a workout. That right there is what we call real hiking. No trails, no direction. It's whatever you got on you to find your way, and that's it. Luckily I had GPS, but I was kind of trying to go by the sun as well, so. It appears that, at least in the parking section, I am still all by myself, but I'm pretty positive that that's not 100% true and that somebody has just parked somewhere else and uh, has been hiking around. I've noticed there's actually numerous places to park, but they only have really one main one marked on the map. So thank you all for tuning in to this episode on 539. Uh, let me know if you liked it in the comments below. I know this one is a little bit different and something new that we're trying here and it didn't really uh, have any clear indication of what we found back there, but um, I, I don't know. I kind of think that we might have actually located an old, old Indian uh, mound of some sort. So uh, let me know your comments, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you all in the next adventure.